Hi, my name is Brianna Glenn, and I am a long jumper from the United States. And Brianna Glenn, you are also a member of Women Talk Sports and a blogger? Yes, I am. So Brianna, you're here at Mount SAC competing in the long jump, and how was your competition today? It was a great competition. You know, Mount SAC is an opener for a lot of people, and normally the competition, you know, is a few good people, but normally it's not too tough. Today we brought in a, a great field. You know, we had the world champion Brittany Reese here. We had a lot of international competitors, and so it was a great field, and really gave me an idea of where I was at and just a good competition feeling. So. It was a good meet, and I think I performed well. I jumped 675, which was A standard out of the way. I'm happy for that. And placed second, so I'm, I'm overall happy. So how much confidence does today give you going into USA Nationals to make the team for Daegu? Um, a lot of uh, confidence. I think it's always great when you get to start off a season on a good foot. You get the confidence in knowing that your training is going well and you're progressing how you should. And then you just get into competition mode and you can start putting all the pieces together and seeing the results. And so for me, this is a great way to start my season. And I'm just really excited now to get comp competing and then build up to nationals and make the team for Daegu. And Brianna, you competed last year in the first year of the Diamond League. What are your thoughts and opinions on how that went? You know, it's all a growing process, and I think there were some positive things. For me personally, being in a field event, the Diamond League added for us um, a chance to compete and good meets and also just to make more money, which is why we do this for a lot of us is as, as, as our job. So we're happy with making good prize money and being able to compete at those big meets um, against great competitors. So I think overall it was a positive experience and I know there's a few things that can be could be better but I think we're moving in a good direction and I was happy with it. Now Brianna you've been doing this for a long time and you have had lots of ups and downs, great seasons, bad seasons, injuries. What motivates you to keep going and how are you doing this? You know, I learned a few years back that if I'm not having fun, I'm doing it wrong. And so that was like when I kind of changed my mindset is like there's going to always be ups and downs. And once you learn how to like ride with it and know that when you're at a down point, just working through that because a high point has to come after that and just basically being Per persevering because for me the end goal in my head and the, and the goals I have for myself and the potential I see in myself is still there and I haven't lost sight of that so just along the way if I can continue to have fun and still improve you know I'm getting up there in age especially with a birthday coming on Monday um, but I know that I'm the best that I've ever been and what I've learned over the years in dealing with the adverse I can't even speak. <laughs> Adversities and the setbacks has made me stronger. And then also I know more about my event now. So I'm in the best place possible. And I feel like the next couple of years, it's going to be in my, to my advantage that I'm older but uh, more experienced, let's say. And you are from the Southern California area. Talk quickly about the tradition of the Mount Sac relays. I was just, I was telling somebody today, like I have been coming to this meet since I was 14 years old and I don't even want to do the math right now to tell you how many years I've been to this meet. It's been a lot. But what I love about it is that I feel a sense of like comfortability here because I have competed so many times on this track and it's a place where my friends and my family can come watch me and it's you know a good atmosphere so I've always had a lot of fun here and I've always managed to compete really well here too so it's a great place to open up my season and just to feel comfortable and have a good time. Talk Sports is just a great organization a great place to just go and get information about your favorite favorite female athletes and see what we're up to and just read all all about women in, in sports and it's a really great website check it out